up a little louder. What you say? 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 What you Bobby Pin is hanging out here with the Claire Sumners of Fashion Bomb Daily. How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? You are literally fabulous, sis. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, I love being candid with my viewers, my listeners in this case, for the Put Yourself on Podcast. And we had some hiccups. And when I say Claire was able to roll with the punches in her stilettos and her fur, <laughs> that meant so much. And it says a lot about your character yeah. that you weren't afraid to walk in the dirt in like your stiletto so tell me about your journey because you didn't necessarily have it easy but you make it look oh so easy (laughs) I did not have it easy I grew up just loving fashion Uh, grew up in Atlanta Georgia a total fashion outsider like I worked in magazines but I was not in fashion at all I just loved to shop and when I first started Fashion Bomb the blog was just about me shopping on a budget you know I wasn't making a ton of money so I was finding vintage stores I was finding smaller designers and and things like that but just knew that I had this passion for writing and and this love of fashion and honestly I literally wrote my way into the fashion (laughs) industry Um, just with starting fashion bomb we started doing red carpet reviews we started to do street style <clears throat> and we became known as a place where you can find out what anybody's wearing as soon as they step outside. And that's something that is still missing from the industry, you know, kind of a real place where black fashion can live and be respected and highlighted and valued. And it's a real passion of mine. Um, so I think my passion is what has, has kept me, sustained me through this and gotten me to where I am today. Definitely. So we call this the Put Yourself On Podcast because I speak to people who carve their own way to um, fulfill their purpose. So tell me a little bit more about your writing experience Um, because you've written for some major publications where we don't really see too many folk who look like us. So tell me your experience about breaking into and creating your own space within the industry. Right. So I'm a journalist at heart. Um, from age nine, I have journals from when I was nine years old, like cutting out pictures from magazines and pasting them in there. But I'm the type of person where writing is my therapy. And I'll write, now I don't write as much in my journal, but growing up, it was like every other day, at least every week, writing in a journal. So I have journals, like a whole library full of my thoughts. Um, but when I came up, I knew that I, I just knew that I wanted to have more balanced depictions of African Americans in the media. I thought initially I wanted to go into TV, but I couldn't find a way in. So I started off in print journalism, and I did all the internships. They tell you to do unpaid internships, poorly paid internships. I did all of that. Um, And then I was a researcher reporter at a home magazine. And I think research reporting skills, it's not a glamorous job, but it's great because you want to be accurate. You want to make sure things are spelled correctly. You want to actually do the research and make sure that you're putting out a quality product. But that's what I learned there. But I just kind of like made my way through journalism, and initially my goal was to be an editor at Vogue and now I'm like I could actually be an editor at Vogue Uh, maybe I should send in my resume but anyway my goal is to be an editor at Vogue but blogging became this whole thing where bloggers were sitting front row and I mean bloggers have done really well Um, and so I was I was really lucky to benefit from this whole digital revolution and I was able to create my own movement Definitely, you've been able to branch out. You're an author, you're an event curator. Tell me about how you knew it was time to pivot and which direction you knew to take. Uh, it's always time to pivot. You can't, you can't just continue to do the same thing and expect to continue to level up in your career. The first thing I started to do was to put myself out there as a face of my brand. And I did that because I saw that most bloggers who were getting the front row seats that were getting a lot of the ambassadorship opportunities, they were the face of their brand. So I pushed myself out there and it was an awkward 
experience it was because I didn't know, you know, I wasn't always. You seem so yeah. like confident. You know? <laughs> no, I, I used to, I needed some help. You know, I, I, I think I, I've, I've had good, I always have had good taste, but I needed a little bit of direction. Um, and I've had to learn that uh, through Fashion Bomb and people being like, you can't dress. And I was like, oh my God. And then I, you know, go back to the drawing board. So that was the first thing. And then I would say probably 2013 is when we started doing Cocktails with Claire, which is now Conversations with Claire. But Cocktails and Conversations with Claire is a chance for everybody to get together. Um, there, there are no black fashion magazines. We had Suede that, that left in 2008. And a lot of times in the fashion industry, we don't feel like we really have a strong community within the fashion community. So I started it as just a chance to network and to nurture and build communities in various cities. So we've done convos with Claire in Paris, Lagos, Washington, D.C., Houston, like literally all over the nation and all over the world. And now we're going into e-commerce. We have Fashion Bomb Daily Shop. We're about to go into hair. Um, <laughs> and something I was talking about with Lovey the other day um, is that we're OG bloggers. So we started in 2006. We've ridden the wave. We know how to galvanize an audience. We know how to like do, do the online thing. So now I think it's our turn to give back and share our expertise with people. I do consultations now, and I do a lot of public speaking, which is something new. Like, I'm an introvert. I don't, I, I was called a quiet leader. I would be terrified to speak up in class come, when I was in school, and now I'm speaking in front of crowds, like, almost every week. So I think it's important to just always be flexible, be open, step out on fear. There's no place for fear in, in any one success formula. Um, and just, just do it. Like, do what God has called called on your life to do you know so yes I love it um I first met Claire at a speaking engagement she had in St. Louis where she empowered us and encouraged us to be great and you have your next conversations with Claire coming up in December December 1st here in New York right here in New York yeah and um I we, I know so many people in fashion now um I, I literally blogged my way into the community so we have bevy smith who we know from fashion queen she's now on page six tv she used to be an advertising executive um at vibe magazine she's going to be speaking ducky confetti whose coat i'm wearing but he's a designer worn by tiana taylor beyonce mary j blige he's going to be sharing knowledge and also misa hilton Brim, who's like a legendary stylist. She styled Little Kim. She styled Missy. She styled like anything 90s fashion as far as women are concerned. Misa had her hand on that. And um, these are wealths of knowledge. I mean, I think this year and like a little bit of last year, people were like, oh, Dapper Dan, he's fly, you know, and Dapper Dan got his collaboration with Gucci. But Dapper Dan has been a legend. He was legendary in, in this in the 80s you know and and huge figure in hip-hop like in hip -hop. the style that we portray is what he kind of set the foundation exactly i mean l cool j big daddy kane all those guys used to wear a dapper dan and you know we didn't maybe acknowledge that bit of fashion history but now he's getting his his just due and i feel like people like misa and bevy and ducky they're legendary and so for me, like I majored in African-American studies in college. I'm all about preserving our history and documenting our history. And that's something that I've done with Fashion Bomb Daily, but also like giving just due to those who helped set trends and make waves um, in fashion and American history in general. Absolutely. I think Diddy put out a, um, a caption that caught some attention yesterday talking about that. It was some young men, not of African-American culture, that were portraying the images that we see in like rap music videos. And he was saying that it's so important for us to preserve our own culture and know how to monetize it and, and profit off of it and truly document it. Yeah. So I applaud you for taking the steps to do that for fashion. Yeah. So I want to get into your... Like it's it. a struggle, but we do it. You are doing it. You are doing it, and we're grateful for that. So I want to talk a little bit about your personal. Um, as we were walking over here, you shared with me just a little insight into your spirituality. How do you stay grounded, right? Like, again, it, your path wasn't easy. Um, sometimes we as a community feel like our contributions are not valued. What's a great way for someone who's a creator to not be disappointed, to stay focused, to stay motivated, and to, to stay grounded? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say 
stay in prayer, have a great support group around you. I have some amazing people from my mother to my brother to friends from college who are always there to support me no matter what. Um, and I think just always operating from a place of what can I contribute to the culture? A, B, how can I make the world a better place? How can I do it with integrity? Um, and I think you'll get there. I think it's really about the long, thinking about the long haul and understanding that there, you're going to meet with adversity. There are going to be bumps in the road. Things are not always going to go exactly how you want it to. But if you can seize upon any small success that you have and use that to encourage you to keep going, for me, like, I, burn, I don't burn every bridge behind me. I don't burn bridges. But for me, it's like I don't have a plan B. This has to work. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm committed, I'm passionate, and, and know that, that things – won't always be easy, but but I'm going to get there one day because I'm just not going to stop. Plan A is to make, or plan B is to make plan A work. Yeah. I love that quote. I don't have a plan B. This got to work. <laughs> so I'm going to take advantage of the season. We've got a fashion expert here. If you could give us three tips to slay this holiday season, what would they be? Sequins. I love sequins. Um... I actually think like jewel tones, like a nice purple, a green, obviously red always works, but get some great jewel tones. Um, and something that's a little evergreen, like a plaid. I have this red plaid blazer that I wear in the fall and I wear it in the holidays. But for me, it's all about shining and sparkling and celebration. So I'm all about popping with sequins. Yes, get your bling on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can keep up with me at Claire Somers, um, also fashionbombdaily.com, The Bomb Life, Combos with Claire. Yeah, and if you want to hear more, come to Combos with Claire. It's always a fun time. I feel like I should have more events in New York because people just come out, and it's, and it's wonderful. The dress code is animal print, so, you know, if you ever have any thoughts about what you should wear, you know, an animal print is super trendy right now. So I think it's going to be a great time. I know it will. Thank you so much, Claire, for Thank dropping you. in. Before I let you go, is there anything you want to leave our viewers, our listeners with? Uh, start now and perfect later. If you're starting off as an entrepreneur, if you're just trying to do something new, just start now. Do something. Get active. And if it doesn't work, keep switching things around. But just do something in every day. Continue to move forward and keep the faith. I love it. Claire Somners. Bomb life. <laughs> <laughs>